Best Practices for Securing Big Data Firstly, when organizing access control processes, try to abide by the need-to-know principle and the rule of minimum user rights. Both principles can be seen as equivalent to one another. Although the need-to-know principle applies more specifically to data, information and knowledge and minimum user rights can apply to any kind of access rights. Let us first discuss need-to-know principle. The need-to-know principle is a principle for data security. It comes from uh, military organizations where communication always is and was confidential. And uh, this also applies to, um, to IT systems because people who don't um, know certain things, who don't have access to certain things, cannot be a, uh, um, a reason for a data leak. So it's, it's not the point that every person is, uh, is untrustworthy, but the point is uh, that people might get exploited, people might get hacked. Then it's, the risk is higher when they have more access to data. Let us next discuss minimum user rights. Every user, every actor in your big data system should have the, the, all the access that he needs to have to really um, well, solve his task, but if, uh, at the same time this should be the upper borderline, so he should not get more access rights to this, uh, more access rights than he really needs to do. So this is a, not giving every user all access to the whole system, but giving also, uh, only the access to what he really needs to do. In short, only give users the access to the functionality, data and rights that they need, and nothing more. Our second best practice tip centers around updates. The number one security risk to any big data system is that updates have not been done and old systems are running with publicly known security threats. IT system updates are the most important security measure. No IT system is 100% um, secure. Each software has thousands or millions lines of codes and hence um, there are errors in it and from time to time errors get detected, get published and then um, any attacker could exploit these errors. So as soon as errors are known and the fixes are available, these fixes have to be installed into the system. It starts with the operating system and continues to database systems and application systems like web servers or any component of a Hadoop big data system. So update your systems regularly to lower the risk of exploits. The next piece of advice is to keep track of data provenance. The whole um, thing about big data is to make um, data analytics for getting better insights. So. Um, people, companies want to learn insights from big data and hence um, they must know how trustworthy their data source is. Otherwise um, the principle applies um, garbage in, garbage out. What does the principle of garbage in, garbage out mean? Any type of data analysis, whether it's machine learning or whether it's some kind of statistical analysis or whether it's uh, some kind of attempt to do a prediction. It needs truthful input for delivering useful results. If the input is somehow wrong or biased, the results will also be. And uh, then there could be some um, wrong business decisions, there could even be uh, some bad consequences for individuals, like um, errors in a, in a scoring system, which, uh, which decides whether a person can get the credit or not. So, to estimate the reliability of your data and to ensure that it has not been manipulated or contains any garbage or vulnerabilities, you need to keep track of where the data is coming from. The next best practice tackles the problem of new technologies being developed without security in mind. From May 2018, this can no longer be the case. 
The new General Data Protection Regulation states that it is mandatory for companies to build their systems with a focus on security and privacy. The two important concepts here are privacy or security by default and privacy or security by design. Privacy by default means that the standard setting and or the standard configuration is that you're not collecting private information at all, or that it's at the minimum of what, what the actual system is able to do. And uh, privacy by design means that you design your system with security and privacy in mind, so that you, from, from the beginning, think about how to protect the data or how you could possibly secure your system. Our last best practice tip concerns the maintenance of complex systems such as big data systems. These systems often grow and become ever more complex with time. As previously mentioned, it is often the case that security is less of a consideration in comparison to other priorities such as speed. And so once the system has grown into a huge monster, it can be very difficult and expensive to regain control of it. In summary, here are five best practice tips for securing big data. Apply the need to know and minimum user rights principle. Update your systems regularly. Keep track of your data provenance, where it is coming from. Build your systems with security and privacy in mind, not as an afterthought. And be sure to maintain your systems as they grow and become more complex over time.